In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, I am the host of this internet ministry known as the Mighty, Mighty, Mighty. <laughs> Angel Snub Number 7, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Even Ra. I would like to first send a uh, shout out to my sister, uh, YS to God, uh, my brother, uh, All or Nothing. 68 or is it 86? I just want to let you both know that I appreciate our uh, meetings and your uh, wishing and wanting to seek black unity. Our discussions I hope as the days pass will bring us some sort of fruit. So for those of you who believe black unity is not possible, that's because you're not trying. Last year I was aligned with an individual that in the end does not have the mentality needed to pursue what we call black unity. These particular individuals have that fire, have that desire, and by us combining our forces, one, two, three, Perhaps we can replicate ourselves and maybe it may not be much, but we can become an example and show without a doubt that black unity is indeed possible for the whole of us as a people. We will see. I sent a shout out to my assistant minister. Brother Andre, I cannot wait till you get back into action. And uh, many people think that I'm a troublemaker. They think I have that that I am a problem. But when you get yourself together and get to working out here. They complain about me, but they might find something worse. But not something worse in a bad way, but someone full of energy and vigor and action to bring us out of this darkness and out, and out of this idea of conscious of being black, but black action. 
becoming a true revolutionary a revolutionary that has accepted his or her reality let me bring this to conclusion this message goes out to those who believe in tough love there are those black people or you well we call them black people I prefer to say dark Europeans we have black people or dark Europeans they claim they love black folks but you never hear them say that they say I care but you never see the expression of their caring you never hear them say I love you matter of fact while I'm on the subject give me a hug come on y'all I give give brother Talika a hug ah man I love I love black folks I love y'all and my Caucasian brothers and sisters and if that's the way we want to speak my other subscribers don't get jealous you know how it is when uh, in your family you give special attention to those who need it you give a special attention to your child that's having problems in math you don't give special attention to the child well you do but you know you don't I mean that child that already knows his man he doesn't need as much attention so in this situation and y'all can understand and I hope that you can bear with us during this period of healing and growing and maturing I hope that you don't mind me showing my people of where I come from love and if you can't deal with that then it was nice knowing you and hasta luego Salonata, habeas corpus. <laughs> but there are those black folks who think or they believe in tough love when it comes to black folks. I'm going to call you a hoe 24 hours a day. I'm going to call you a thug. I'm going to call you a pimp. You live in niggerdom. I'm going to say that 24 hours a day. And by me calling you these names, you are going to eventually change. Well, are they changing? The only one who is listening to that type of message are those who don't need that type of help. And you say this yourself. You're speaking to those who need the help. But the only one who can agree with your uh, distorted, confused version of what tough love is, don't need that. They are, oh, they are the ones listening to you. The ones that need it get a defensive posture and show you that you ain't perfect either. And you deserve it. Because there's something in the equation that y'all seem to miss. See, you talk about black folks like a dog and want to talk about all how negative we are and you don't expect for those of who you talk about, you don't expect them to defend themselves. And I, I love them and I will defend them also. I don't care what they do. So when you bring your bum ass around here, you're going to get shot down. Because out of your false delusion, of bringing tough love. You bring in a whole lot of tough. Oh you mighty tough. You bring. Everybody's a hoe. Everybody's a prostitute. Everybody's a thug. Sagging pants. Whatever. You bring all the tough. And the corny thing about it. We already know it. So you can call a whore. A whore. She already know that. I already know I'm a thug. I already know I wear my pants sagging. So the hell what? Negro, so what? So you can bring plenty tough and I ain't gonna change a damn thing. To hell with you, bum. You don't run nothing here. I could care less about what your Uncle Tom Dark European ass say. 
And that's the type of <laughs> reaction that you get. And you so dumb, you keep doing the same thing. And you do the same thing because you have Caucasian people and other weak Negroes that love and enjoy you trying to destroy other people to make so they can feel better about themselves because really they ain't about nothing. I don't care how many degrees they got. I don't care what they what they think, how much education that they got, how they living because they really ain't about nothing either. But we always can find somebody to put down so we can feel like we are doing something. So it's entertainment. Because when you claim or you claim or you attempt to try to do something positive, nobody helps your ass. Ain't that right? Nobody come out to help you. Because they just want to hear you destroy or or continue to make mockery of those who are already destroyed. So your tough love don't mean no, nothing to somebody that ain't got a damn thing to lose. They're already, they are already on the bottom rung. And your example of what you are, I am not impressed. So the problem with your tough love and your truth, because what you say oh, is true. I'm a, I'm a thug. I'm a whore. I'm a prostitute. Yeah, I'm a nigga. I live in niggerdom. Yes, true. So you happy? I I I I tell the truth. I'm the I'm the minister of truth. Oh yeah, you you tell the truth about the obvious. It's obvious I'm a hoe. It's obvious I'm a nigga living in niggerdom. Wow, what a great revelation! You have brought truth. But with all your toughness dedicated to the mockery and the degradation of one particular people because all these other suckers, they ain't sin free either. But that's not your concern. Your concern is making mockery of those that look like you. It brings you some type of satisfaction, some type of glory. I love everybody. Everybody is my friend. I have white friends. I have Asian friends. I, just, I have friends, friends. Oh, I, it, it's all about friends. And when you look at the show, friends, ain't nothing but white folks. Then by the time it got to the closing season, they brought in some token Negroes. And that's what you are. You have become a token Negro. That's why these don't listen to your ass. Who you talking about, brother? Oh, you know who I'm talking about. Not only him, but there's a whole lot of others. Nutcases out there. So in conclusion, I'm going to wrap this up. With all your tough, you have no love. You show no love for the people that you care about. How many videos do you have showing I love you? I do care about you. Not just making fun of somebody's situation. It's all about mockery. When, where we see the tough, we see the tough so much, we can even go to a Nazi, a neo-Nazi Ku Klux Klan site and see your love, your toughness, and I guess it's your love on a Nazi site. We, we, so we, we see that part. We see the tough part. What about the love? What about the love? And black folks ain't stupid. You think niggas is stupid. Some of us think children are stupid. Some of us think animals are stupid. All living things, animals and children and people, we know when somebody or something else loves us and cares about us. A student in a school know what a teacher really cares about that child getting an education and the child also knows when that teacher don't give a damn about him or her. So with all your tough, where is the love? And since you show no love, then you get the results that you get. Yes, yeah, sister, you shouldn't be a hoe. But let me tell you, come on, let me, let me buy you dinner. 
Let me explain some things to you. Let me introduce you to a nice young man. Let me really explain. Let me really explain how acting in a different manner does you good. Because I already know what you are. You don't have to accept those things. Show her caring. Show her love. The thug in the street. The brother that don't pay his child support or whatever. It's good to be tough. But there has to be balance. Because along with tough, you got to show people I care. I'm not saying this to hurt you. I'm saying this because I love you. So show tough, but you got to show love also. That's why on my videos, I talk about us. I talk about our ill behaviors, but also I show us that I also care about you. I'm not going to just, just bash you all the time. And I also bring balance because, yeah, we suffer in niggerdom. Yeah, we are thugs and prostitutes, but you'll find thugs in the white community. you find prostitutes in the white community. In fact, our behavior is, where do we get all this? ill behavior from the society and who created this society it was not black folks it came from Caucasian people so you want to show tough love then you show also balance and fairness and equality and you also show the other side but you don't you just want to degrade and make mockery of your people so that you can get some type of Glory. Some type of. Man, what's the word I'm looking for? But anyway. Approval from white folks. And they smile and they giggle. Because they know you're a stupid nigga. You're the real nigga. You're the one that's really living in niggerdom. A modern day slave. Because just a few days ago. You were the one. You were just like the one that you talk about. Because now you got a little something. You think all of a sudden you think you better. You don't impress me and you don't impress them. Tough love. You should hide behind a picture. Because you should be ashamed of yourself. And I don't even want to talk about. I don't want to talk about. How, hypo uh, how hypocritical this is coming from a religious base. Because I thought religion supposed to demonstrate mercy and compassion and understanding. And you see none of this. Because there's no love. A lot of tough, but no love. Sooner or later, these people we should be sick of you and your foolishness. And the same way they come out of the woodworks to condemn someone nothing like you. They should come out the woodworks to also condemn you. Because you are worse enemy than that which they condemn at this moment. You are ignored. You are worse. Because you the ultimate example of a modern day slave. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Pretending you love these people. When in reality you don't. You seeking the master's approval. See what I do master? They niggas master. They live in niggas the master. They hoes and prostitutes. You ain't like that master. Your people ain't like that. Y'all different. Y'all civilized. Yeah. Y'all. Y'all. Put people in, uh, in chains and y'all pedophiles and you're poor addicts and you don't fiend and everything else under the sun just as bad as them but they don't mean they can't do nothing for me. I seek my approval with my mother and so with your truth you go on and on and on. And you keep doing that. And see how far that gets you. And you need to begin to think. Because as surely as you can show 
tough, then you need to also show love. And when you begin to show love, then the people will see you in a different light. And then they will begin to accept your message instead of rejecting your message. Because nobody, even you, want to be talked about in a negative manner. Because they who are talking about you, trying to show you some tough love. Think about it. Think about it. But that's our problem. We don't think. <laughs> and that's sad. With all our intelligence, with all this brain that we have, we don't think. With that said, that's enough. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. No matter about what others, what they're talking about, here, I don't care what you are. Nigga, living nigga do, you a whole prostitute, thug, you wear your pants sagging, however you are, you welcome in this house.